Well, comparatively speaking, the size of the Samsung XL2370 is not much smaller than the P2570. Um, one thing I don't like about the P2570 is that this particular unit I'm sending back to uh, PCConnection.com. By the way, if you are in California and you don't want to pay waste fee and you don't want to pay tax, go to PCConnection.com. They, they will save you a ton of money. I, I was impatient, so I bought this at Best Buy. I didn't really have time to wait to return this for credit, but, but they're uh, they're really really good uh, really good company. Um, they're allowing me to return this since it's effective. Um, anyways, so side by side comparison, I think uh, I guess we got to turn this thing on. It's the first time we're turning on the picture. Looks very uniform. There is no light leakage on this unit at all. Now the picture here seems a lot more vibrant. Um, wow, it's like I'm I got too cool. Now it's hard to say. This looks like I'm looking at like a portrait. It looks really really nice. I mean the the contrast is clearly a lot nicer on this. I mean literally it looks beautiful. It looks like one of those art pieces that's you know at the art sh art shop. I don't know if you've seen the artwork where it's like really shiny film. You know, it's not really paint, but it's like a shiny film. That's exactly how this looks. Uh that's the best I can describe it. Whereas on the other hand, this is a CCFL. This is the uh cold cathode fluorescent lamp, older technology on the P2570. This is the LED. It looks I'm going to say right now, it looks absolutely spectacular. I'm going to open up like Winamp here and just play some play some drum and bass or something just to move Winamp over to this extra monitor space. See some visual. No, I didn't want it on that one. Well, what I can do is I can increase the size just to see what the the visualizations look like on this. This is. I'm going to tell you right now. I like this. I'm sold. I'm sending the other one back. I'm not looking back. I'm definitely not looking back. That is a freaking nice picture. I mean, that is gorgeous. I mean, and that's true 1080. See, when you take 1080p, 1920 by 1080, and you stretch it. 24.6 you get a little bit grainy of a picture whereas if you put it on a 23 inch the image is a lot sharper so I see a very beautiful beautiful pixel density on this LED monitor and I, I am completely sold the color looks just absolutely vivid it looks a lot more spectacular you can see here, here's one section of Winamp. Uh, this monitor's brightness is a little high. Let's set it at stock. Let's set everything to default on this. I don't know if there's a way to restore defaults on this monitor. Yeah, reset. Reset, yes. No, no, reset. It's okay, I've reset it. Wow, man. Look at how bright and vibrant the picture is on the right compared to on the left, which is the other monitor. That is so much more vibrant than, I mean, that, that is really nice. Seriously, um, it's hard to tell the refresh rates in this picture, but that is the Samsung XL2370. Uh, there is a comparison. It is. It will be a little hard to see on camera, but I am wowed. It's very thin. It's very lightweight. Um, very classy looking. Uh, the picture, like I said, the picture is just gorgeous. I can't wait to watch some uh, Blu-ray 
play some games on this thing. Uh, I'm completely sold. I am keeping it. I am sending this P2570 with defective light leakage. I'm sending her back. This is Kinesis on YouTube uh, signing off.